Okay, um, PBC, BBC Pigeon audience, this is not the Federal High Court where a moment ago the Federal Government arraigned um, the Ogbonge Nandi Kanu. Uh, we know, say, um, just hours after the Minister of Justice, when they talk about how government's been um, catch them, they bring and come here, the Federal High Court. If you see this court here, we will see, say, uh, plenty of people full ground, um, John List, uh, people plenty for ground, where one, where it been come cover the event. But what didn't happen, we see immediately when we come to the Federal High Court, um, then we come away. Um, but before that session, in the enter court, and then we look at, then look at in case, and the Federal Government arena. But before we go, I will tell now, say, um, um, the Minister of Justice Malami being informed the Nigerian media and the Nigerian people say um, them being work with the security agencies. They say they work with they serious work with security agencies to ensure say they return Umnandi Kanu back. We don't already know the influence of Umnandi Kanu and waiting the activities where in Dundee do as person where they support the separatist group IPOP and the government they say that group they no support they don't prescribe and say no be better group and that government they intentionally they ready to um, make sure say that their, their demand no 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 succeed because of say them say them want Biafra and sake of that that's why um, the Nigerian government don't they take it, um, don't they involve with Nandi Kanu issue they don't arena for court federal high court here with 11 count charges where uh, him be no answer and run away today for court now, we'll go waiting. Um, Oga Malami talk, tell journalists before um, they bring and come court. Oga Malami say, if you want to inform Nigerians, say the Nigerian government with security agencies don't succeed to grab Nandi Kanu today. And truly, truly, today he come court and he appear before court, be before um, Justice Binta Nyaku. What did that one mean? Be say the Nigerian government, a beautiful, now very exciting moment for the Nigerian government and authority. Um, consider, say they don't they watch Nandi Kanu. And the fact say the activities where they do and what they happen for the southeastern part of the country, don't they really and they paint the Nigerian government? Don't they wonder, say the people where they follow them, that then they cause kata kata for the southeastern part of the country and the government don't they ready to see how they go baba. So now very exciting news for the Nigerian government, now very exciting news for the authority and the security agents for the country as they announced say Nadi Kanu don't land Nigeria. And this now the federal high court, we just watch us this. The BBC Pigeon live broadcast from the Federal High Court here from Abuja, the Nigerian capital. As uh, Ogamalami, they talk and they inform Nigerians say um, they don't bring Umnandi Kanu to come face the charges where you run away from from um, Nigeria. And we know saying uh, Senator Barbie being taken in hand, being alarmed that time, they been waiting. They talk say Naim become saying go belam and because of that one nine he say in life they threaten say when he then give them grant and that bill say he been there nigeria and he been they do come here they do something until security people come begin they attack people from an area they attack in followers they do uh, anyhow so then they kill people anyhow now so in fear now he make way in run away um but malami say uh, na serious work where security agencies do to see say now they can return back to nigeria to face the law can go see answer the 11 count charges where being they face for court before he tried to escape justice and they don't they ready to represent him for court security agencies arrest Kanu on the 27th of this month where be sunday as he they as he they talk as they don't take and go court Oga Malami also say um na say then go detain now Oga Malami also when they bring and come court um Oga Shwaibu Labaran where be the prosecution counsel be applied say may then detain um Kanu for DSS custody what it make when they say they detain Kanu for DSS custody because of say of the high profile pers person where he be and so they no go put him for Kuje prison uh, as you they see now this is what you they see now a journalist where come cover the event many of us no see him before we could even land there they don't put they don't cover in face whisk and carry and come out but waiting um Ogashua Ibu toil court be say for before uh, Oga Nyaku be say um, the justice Binta Nyaku be say now where in don't come back they no one ready to hear Say, bing or in escape, they don't hear that kind of thing again. Or say, baker. So they say, this one, 
thing go surely, surely face the law. I say, make them accelerate the hearing, you know. Make them no wait, make them keep them for there for long. Make them ka ka ka, put every legal element together. Mobilize everybody, and go mobilize. Informing lawyer, make them come to the enter court. And for July 26th to 27th, court go sit down to hear in case. He say, can you be wrong, come out, you know, answer in charges. Say, in carry bail, in give and bail, as per se, then look uh, senator face, a barry bail face, give and bail. But he said, no respect the bail, come wrong, come out for Niger. And since then, even when he come out for Niger, he see they involved for the activities of IPOP. See, they talk anyhow on top, say, they inspire people, they ginger people for southeastern part of the country, some group of them. Make them also, they carry fire. We don't see, say, they don't plenty and police stations, plenty and government institutions, they don't burn out for southeastern part of the country. Why don't worry government say they don't even sit down with the Minister of Employment, uh, uh, Minister of Employment and Lab uh, Labor and Employment, Mr. Ndege. They don't even sit down. They don't get plenty engagement with even the southeastern governors. But still yet, because of the crisis, they think no end. And they say, Naeem, they try the ginger boys them when they destroy government properties like that. And sake of that, they won't do accelerated hearing. So from the 26th of July to 27th of July, Binta, uh, Justice Binta don't agree, say, Kai, may they come do the, they come put mouth for the matter. I mean, they come make sure, say, that 11 count charges on top, say, government, they say, in the, in the, they sponsor terrorism things care and then for treason fellow and felony and all of those kind of things where be say they say they do against government they make it come answer all the query and question for inside court and secondly they say that the court say the trial will begin immediately and they no go wait time this time also we don't know say um ipop uh, and the activities for the southeastern part of the country we don't see the activities of uh, they say in your activities they don't they threaten uh, the existence of nigeria and that nigeria no go feel divide the, the government they say nigeria nobody go feel threatening nigeria and say nigeria nobody pass nigeria we know say for the broadcast where the government do for democracy day you don't see everybody where they fight against the country and where they fight against in 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 rule, say them go hold all of that. If like I say this one, uh, the um, answer to the the promises where you make Nigeria and say, hey, all those where they work against the country, it go bring them to book. If like I say the justice, now in the show, so this uh, uh, arrest and detainment show say Nigerian government eye full everywhere. It be like say they tell people that say if you do anyhow you go see anyhow say nobody power nobody get power past the government of any country and awaiting the government the statement where the government won't make with that and i make they say they go make sure say the prosecution and everything was supposed to happen for this court but at this court the the case would happen so they go make sure say everything happen as it be so now waiting happened today for the federal high courts for Abuja be that and many people were there here most of us will be journalists as we hear when we run come we know see him for face but few people also see him and they say and um, when they ask him for court say why in jump bail he say now fear make him wearing jump bail see i think jump bail then they keep people for the southeastern part of the country and then uh, in the fear say they go kill him too now he make where he jump bail um but the court say that one not supposed to give a reason for that one and that then go try him and then go here in case as they bring and come court today him wear a black like a tracksuit black one now in carry enter court and they don't detain them for dss facility because and uh, they say dss facility if they good and they go make sure say them protect and make sure say everything they can pay and then go they come court on the 26th and 27th of july and we the bbc pigeon we go day live here they give now all the tori as if they happen from inside court and from all the activities where they happen i will also tell on that say for this court today um security they beefed up around the court premises if you go outside plenty security now in full ground and um, plenty people day here um lady plenty anxiety anticipation plenty people won't know exactly what thing they happen whether not him through through or not um so um then then they then they then they try no waiting to happen um we don't we don't see any of the lawyers when you're good tell me tell me one, one minute one minute please so, Sorry, I want to record this. Can you wait? Which, which one? Using, are you? We don't see any of the lawyers, but um, we get no. one of our uh, person where see where enter where they inside the court oh, yeah. where see the matter as see they happen. Okay. okay, can you can you tell us your name? Can you? My name is Eric Ikelai. I am a journalist with the Nation newspapers. 
court, you were in the court, you were at the court courtroom yes. when, where the um, Kanu was arraigned. Can you tell us what he, has happened? He wasn't arraigned. Okay. He was brought to court by the DSS and um, the lawyer to the government told the court that the man Kanu had been at large, that he was granted bail earlier in 2017, but since then he jumped bail and has flouted the bail conditions. So he now applied that Kano be remanded in the custody of the DSS and that the trial be accelerated so that the case can be concluded on time. The case was initially adjourned till October 20th. But by his application, the court brought the trial back to July 26th and ordered that he be remanded in the custody of the DSS pending then. And asked him, and asked the prosecuting uh, lawyer to inform the defendant, the, defendant uh, the lawyer to the defendant so that they can attend court at the next date. And then after proceedings, Kanu sought the permission of the court to talk and said he was absent in court. He has been absent in court because his house was invaded by some people who killed some people and that he didn't want to uh, be killed. That was why he has not been able, that's why he went on the ground and not been able to attend court. Like it wasn't that he deliberately um, absented himself from court. So the court told him to liaise with, with his lawyer so that he can prepare for his Can you please describe um, what kind of looked like when you saw him today? He looked okay, he was clean shaven. Although he was brought in court earlier, booted, they removed the hood and he was looking well. He was dressed in black uh, tracksuit. Do you see him? You know him. I, I that know was him. I saw he had little medium like the one <laughs> that is white, that is grey, grey. So he looks well, okay, and he spoke well. And he looked healthy. And I saw. So what did he say? <laughs> okay, so um, now waiting at the few things where we will get, um, you know, different from so many things where we don't talk for here. Uh, we don't hear, say, then see him, koro koro. So for many of now where they say, ah, if we don't see him face, I will not say we will believe say, that I'm not True, true, we don't get person where see him, koro koro. Say in day clean shaved, in day calm, in wear black track suit, and in get small game for, 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 for where he carry. And so in day calm, and he tell to the court, he get, he tell court, made them grant him access to talk. And in talk. So from the 26th, we we'll go see say this, the speedy trial will begin, and um, we're going to see how um, people go they talk about um, how the issue go they go, and how quick then go accelerate the trial. Um, this is a very um, is a landmark um, will be landmark trial for this country where so many people, both international and local people, go one look out for to see the outcome of how this go play out in the next coming days. And we from the BBC Pigeon, we go day here, we they give another tour as they happen live from the Federal High Court of Nigeria. Now, how much where we go take, now the much where we go take from um, the Federal High Court video, as we get more, uh, more info about what they happen and how the case go continue, we go bring and come give now.